I'm at the house at 322 Beverly Drive. I can give you a 360 of this house. You can see the front yard has the dirt ready for sod. They're going to put sod in when a tenant moves in. I'm going to give you a look at a neighborhood here. This house is in a very established neighborhood of Jefferson Terrace. Uh, this house is very close to 410 and I-10, so you got uh, easy access to those freeways. It's also not too far from the medical center. This is a very established neighborhood, large lots. And this property itself, as we go through it, it's going to be a, a very unique property for you to take a look at. This house has been renovated almost top to bottom. Uh, new plumbing, new wiring, new floors, new countertops, uh, and then renovation and uh, polishing of the existing hardwood floors. You can see the driveway here has got a long driveway so you can have lots of parking. Also got mature trees for shading. Let me go inside and take a look at the house. This house is a two bedroom, two bath uh, with a den or a second uh, living area. Square footage is roughly 1,432 square feet, so it's a large size house for a two bedroom. See the beautiful hardwood floors as we walk inside. Again, these are the original hardwood floors um, that came with the house that went when it was built and has been refinished. We go here to the right, we've got the uh, formal dining area. We've got some nice custom design colors here too. Here is the living area. So we're gonna go into the kitchen first. You notice here we have a breakfast area or eating area, granite countertops, a nice sitting area here. Went further to the kitchen. Got some new newer cabinets. Again, we got, got granite countertops throughout the kitchen here. Got gas cooking, which is great for people who like to do a lot of cooking. With a nice uh, vent here. These cabinets got the open style. You can see what what you got, where it is. Easy to locate items. So show you some of the features of these cabinets. And these are not the ones you normally see in a home. It's a good slide out drawer here. Makes it easy to access those big pots and pans. So you're digging down inside there. Also like another one here, big drawers. So we got a lot of easy access to your pots and pans. Take a look at the sink. This is a nice, big, deep, double sink. Look around here. Place for your wine wine rack. Refrigerator saves of the property. So all you need is a washer and dryer to make this property complete. Okay, we're gonna head out. Here it is. Here's a pantry. Got lots of room here to store your items. I'm gonna go out to the garage area. Now the garage area is uh, in the process of being completed. What's going to happen when they finish is you're going to have basically an indoor laundry area, whereas right now it's an outdoor laundry area or a garage laundry area. Um, you got the connections here. They're getting the insulation in. They're going to put drywall. We got the wiring. And as you see up here, we already have the air ducts. So you're going to have your AC. And you could also make this a little exercise area out here if you'd like. Um, but again, it's going to be insulated and drywalled, so that's going to be a, a level, uh, an area where you feel comfortable in. Uh, here we have some work area here. We have two garage doors, but because of the enclosure, it's basically going to be a one and a half car garage, or unless you have a motorcycle or a small vehicle, one of those um, electric vehicles that might fit uh, in that space. So you got space for tools there. So, and we got two garage door openers. Okay, let's head back inside. Now, one of the things this house has with the renovation is they added, again, new plumbing, new electricity, uh, new wiring, and they installed central heat and air, which is great 
Um, you don't normally get that in a house in a, such an established neighborhood like this, the older uh, built houses. Got a nice hardwood floors. So you got a lot of the modern conveniences. Let's go here to the... Now this could be a den, it could be an extra living area, game, ro game room. Uh, you've got French doors here that are closed. They're refinishing those, so those be installed part of move in. So you have a, you can close this area off if you'd like. Nice original hardwood floors again. Could be used as a game area, study, whatever you'd like. And ceiling fan here. Let's go to the backyard. Now the backyard here, this lot is about 0.22 acres, which is almost a um, almost a quarter acre lot. Again, is something you don't find in the newer subdivisions. You don't find a big lot size anymore. That's not typical. You have a lot of patio space, so you can do your barbecuing out here. You step down here. Got more patio slab area. Okay, now let's go look inside and look at the uh, bedrooms. Look at the floors. So there's no carpet anywhere in this house. We got hardwood floors throughout and then we got um, tile in the bathrooms. Here we have a TV mount, so if you want to mount your television. Double doors here lead to the bathroom. We've got a newer vanity, um, water saving uh, commode. It's got the different buttons for partial flush and full flush. Nice vanity here and something that's also unique uh, this house has a double shower head. Sit down, you have a sit down area for the shower, but it has not one shower head, but two. And you have different controls for them also. So it's a nice large stand up shower with separate controls. Okay. Head down the hallway. The second full bath here. Then we have tile floors, updated vanity, and commode. And then we have new tile, and this uh, tub is original to the home. Got the pantry, I mean the uh, area here for your towels. And this is the second bedroom. This is also a good sized bedroom. It's larger than average. Ceiling fans. Your closet. So again, this is a unique property, very close to I-10, 410. A lot of the updated features, nice hardwood floors, nice granite, nice kitchen, large yard. So you got a lot of the features you're looking for in an established neighborhood. If you'd like more information about this home, please give me a call. My name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-91. 6-1 or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.